So, uh, well, we can have a little bit of wishful thinking yes. and, and then try to do something about it at the same time. But of course, cousins can marry. Of course, cousins can get children. And uh, of course, they can get deformed children. Mm -hmm. But uh, people who are not cousins get deformed children too. And the percentage between is so small you can't measure it. There are miseries, lots of miseries, that are a consequence of, uh, the, uh, uh, of incest being illegal. Um, so this has to, I think this has to be compared to uh, what possible deformities that might come out of this. If society wants to help them, doctors want to help them, uh, marriage counselors want to help these people, then let's look concretely at each person's background, lineage. Look at your, your parents and grandparents and see who married who. And then you must evaluate what is the risk involved in this if there is any risk if at all. Any risk. Yes, right. So, I mean, uh, get, do it rationally instead of uh, just, you know, making... Instead of morally. Morally. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the problem always. Franzen, um, uh, he, uh, he mentions some uh, uh, researchers. Um, uh, a guy called uh, Westermark, uh, Edward Westermark, um, who... Uh, actually thought there was such a thing as a natural biological uh, uh, incest taboo and he made in the, around the 1930s uh, a long time ago in the, in the, in the, in the good old days when uh, Israel uh, was in my opinion uh, a nice place to uh, to live and deserve some respect uh, as to their kibbutz life their alternative socialist uh, uh, inclinations uh, and uh, he studied uh, the uh, uh, the kibbutz uh, ch children, like siblings in a family, uh, they, and, and they, they knew each other very well. And uh, according to his studies, uh, he, he, he's supposed to have proved that uh, children uh, who have known each other from the very beginning, from the very beginning, uh, they have no desire to have sex with each other as incest, uh, sibling incest. Um, that is... Uh, there are still people that believe that. Yes, and I don't know why they believe it, because uh, if you grow up very close, mm -hmm. the first people you are going to have sex with isn't your siblings, because uh, they're, they're, they're the closest around. people to you. Yes, <laughs> and you experiment, experiment with them. This is, so, a, yes. This, this is, if you're going to marry and have children, that has nothing to do with uh, who you grow up with. It, what mm -hmm. people are telling you, what you can do and what you cannot do. Yeah. Uh, there, there are people who believe this still. Uh, Franzen has, uh, has, has uh, stated that the Westermark's uh, model and research is inconclusive, even though he uh, included some studies uh, of uh, Chinese marriage forms. Uh, in, in China, there has been a kind of uh, marriage system where, uh, where like cousin, uh, uh, cousin uh, mar marriages, where close kin uh, also uh, marry. Uh, uh, and... Uh, uh, these studies are, have, they've attempted, the people who made the studies, they have tried to uh, prove that uh, the divorce frequency was much higher among these uh, closely, uh, these, these people who were brought up together, like kin, uh, they, the divorce was much, much uh, higher and therefore demonstrates that uh, there's a natural biological instinct to go away from, uh, to, to, to not uh, have incest. Yes, well, I don't not, know. not to have very close kin uh, relations. They, they don't last. They're, they're unnatural for some reason. Yes, I don't know if it's political, but it's always very interesting. The unknown is always interesting. And if you know people too well, it, it's getting bored. But if you see something outside the fence who is uh, unknown to you, that's exciting. Uh, maybe it's just that. Yes, maybe. <laughs> Why, why make it so difficult? <laughs> anyway, he says that uh, this, this is very inconclusive, so that can be used, you can't use that at all. And, um, and, uh, but but <clears throat> always take very good care of uh, psychological things or scientific things. I remember one... one what do you mean by take good care? Because I remember one um, doctor who went to uh, Greenland to find uh, out all the 15 years old Boys, he told, well, to find out how was their sex life, what was their, what had their time, what do they want, and so on. And he came back, 
and there were no of them who had any homosexual relationships. And I wonder because I have talked to many um, 15 year old 15, great Greenlanders, yeah, no, Eskimos. older Eskimos who mm -hmm. had experience with other boys when they grew up in Greenland. Well, how come he didn't? Uh, yes, I, then I asked him, uh, <clears throat> Oh, I said, uh, Did you talk to the boys alone? No, he said he has a. He talked with the whole family? No, he talked with the talk, what's that called? Talk uh, the, uh, the interpreter? Interpreter, yes. And I said, oh, that was a 15-year-old boy who was a boy who was an interpreter. No, that was a, a woman. Or I said, old grandfather woman. <laughs> no, very young, beautiful woman. And of course, a young, beautiful woman ask a 15-year-old boy, have you had any sexual experiences with other boys? He would say, no, of course. You can't believe in it. Uh, yeah, it's so, yeah, it's so yeah, difficult. Yeah. A, uh, okay, right. We, we need communication. And we have Yassin yeah. who, who made uh, uh, a study about um, uh, prostitutes who were... Was, was he a Danish policeman in the yes, 50s yes, or what? Yes, Okay. And uh, he talked to the prostitutes the police brought to the police station. Uh -huh. And he found out that those uh, women were... A prostitute is uh, stupider, more stupid than uh, ordinary women. Yes, of course they are, because he only talked to them who, who was caught by the police. He didn't talk uh, to the them. The smart ones that didn't get caught. No, so <laughs> you can't. And, uh, and he, he wrote a whole doctorate about it. Oh, how did he get away with that? How come he got away with that? He failed. He failed? Yes. Okay, he, finally he was uh, disproved, right? Yes, and, yes, uh, yes. And lost recognition. Yes. Thank God for that. Yes. Anyway. But it's again, but if you believe in, in uh, everything you, you read and think, oh, that's the truth and so on. And it, that's very scientific. It's not. It's not always. Be, be careful. Be careful. Okay. Hey, uh, Sigmund Freud is one of the most well-known people, uh, historical persons. Claude Lévi-Strauss is also uh, one of the most uh, influential sociologists in the world, even though he's, I'm not sure how much sociologist he was and how much ethnographer he was, but um, Anyway, he's had, according to the people I've read, an enormous influence on sociology. Yes. Uh, so there's Claude Lévi-Strauss, there's Sigmund Freud, there's Margaret Mead that everybody knows. These people, uh, according to Fransen, they were simply wrong. Their whole attitude, their whole uh, their, their works that are based on the incest taboo is incorrect. It's because they're looking at the with the incest uh, glasses, and if you take that away. What is left? This uh, Franzen himself, he says that uh, the uh, information, the uh, his study on Persia, is uh, absolutely the decisive uh, study that he has made. And uh, to my, uh, the first time that I read anything about uh, there possibly being uh, cultures with. Uh, uh, where, where incest was uh, not a prohibition uh, was in the 1980s. I read a book called Children and Sex, an anthology. Uh, and uh, in that, uh, sporadically in that book, uh, they were mm, sort of mentioned uh, uh, between the lines that there's a culture here, there's a culture there that is. But I could never get it pinpointed. Where is this culture? And what culture are we talking about? And uh, I even interviewed a, uh, a psychologist, uh, the lecturer at the University of uh, Aalborg in Denmark at the, in, in, in the 1980s. And uh, he uh, had read the same book. <laughs> and uh, he, he didn't know, he, he didn't either know where, where, where this civilization is. Uh, these scientists and everything, this is, this is what Franzen has done. He has brought right up front uh, for these academics to see if they want to, if we can force them, provoke them to see these things, it, he now has made it quite possible. Uh, I even noticed the other day that uh, on the internet that uh, there's a, there are Indian uh, publishers and distributors that are selling Franz's book uh, in India, in all, India. All, okay. all, over the, all over the globe. Yeah, so th this thing is really getting out there. In his book he, he shows that it's not in the royal family, it's in the Normal population. It's in the normal population. Yes. And of course, it, it, in those days it was very fine because it would keep the fortunes in the family. 
They don't have to divide it so much because right. the other sister. As far as I know, it was also uh, a, a part of their religion. It, if one wanted to go to uh, well, to be most certain that one could get into heaven, the highest level of heaven, then you had to, according with our eyes, to do the most horrible thing, and that would be for uh, the mother to marry son. her son. Or her daughter. Uh, no. Uh, no, no, no. They, they, they were, as far as I know, uh, homosexuality uh, was completely prohibited yes. in ancient Persia. Yes. Uh, so uh, they had their peculiarities. Um, but anyway, the, the um, mother, son, was the absolute highest ideal, and the uh, father, daughter, was the second, and the third best was sibling. Uh, incest. Yeah. And, uh, and the uh, prestigious part of it was to be uh, when uh, uh, by doing this you could achieve salvation for yourself personally and you could uh, also um, uh, win recognition in the, in the culture. So when do you think you will come back to have that society again in our um, I, I, I don't hope we ever get that society because uh, it's, uh, to me, it's, uh, uh, well, who wants a society where, there's, uh, where, where it's illegal to be homosexual? Uh, who wants a society with, with all the other hang-ups? They, 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 were, they were able to do something that no other modern person, uh, speaking in a general way, uh, would be able to see as, as having any positive qualities. But they were able to do it anyway. Um, no, it would be so, good to have a society where people can look into their own feelings and see what do I want, who do I like, who do I want to sleep with, who do I care for. Right. And there is and no, system, there, there is no, and there never has been a society where free choice no, was, was rec respected. No. Never. No. So we don't want the, I don't want any of these societies that have ever been but we can use these societies to show us that whatever your choice might be, it is possible to do it in a, in a, in a positive, constructive, uh, humanistic way. Yes, that would be nice. And it's still so in Denmark that you say, oh, it's free, you can choose for, uh, your life partner, but you can't because many think, oh, this boy, this girl can I show him or her to my mother and father, what would they say? No, no, no good. I must find somebody I really can come and say, look what I have found. This one I'm going to marry. Yeah, and then that marriage lasts maybe a couple, two or three years yes, and then, so it, then it falls so. apart anyway. So what have you achieved? Nothing. Nothing. No. <laughs> Wasting your time. Yes. <laughs> so, um, Ben, do you have any, I don't have anything else to say on this topic right now. I'm hoping that uh, some of the, I, I would like to encourage the, 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 the viewers to make a video on your own in response to what we're talking about here and uh, put it onto the YouTube and uh, let's get a lot of different uh, uh, videos yes, expressing different and a, a debate with videos answering responding to videos. That would be very huh? nice, yes. Very, very cool. So when are you going to make the next one? Or should we ask somebody else to do it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let somebody do it. <laughs> okay. Do you want to say anything else on the... No, I only would like talking to you I thought you were going to interview me, but you, were, you did the most of the talking yourself, but it's very clear what you are saying, so... Uh, uh, that, that, is, that is very discouraging. I think, yes. I, I think I'll delete that part of it. Yes. Um, but um, are there no... Uh, okay, now that I've talked so much, is there something that, uh, that, that you, you want to say that you haven't been able to say no. so far? No, you? no, because you and I agree, so... Because okay, you do. okay. Yes. So what, uh, what, what can we get out of this? We hope that this gives people a greater awareness of uh, that there was this guy called Paul John Franson made these discoveries and uh, we hope that somebody will uh, sure respond against us go against us say we're yes. wrong everything yes. and it's come, we, we, we cite and we misunderstood everything let us get your response on YouTube yes and let the uh, psychologists read the book and uh, come with their meanings about it Good. Hey, Ben, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Bye.